Hello again, everyone. Uh, this is Adam. So, today we're going to hopefully get the finishing touches done on the mine. Um, I might do some of the mining process today. I'm not sure if I'm going to show that or not. Visually, I have no idea what I'm going to do on that. So, I know I will be mining. So, there's my tower up there. I'll be mining in this direction. I don't want to mine through this wall because I have plans for that direction. This one I might someday. <laughs> and this way, of course, I've got this building. I could have been the walls there, but uh, we'll see. So, today's plans. I'm going to do the little roof here so I can get through. Um, so I can get through the water without having to kind of struggle through it. Uh, so I'll show you what I did with the, this. So this is the way you come down. This is just one layer of water held up by la ladders, four source blocks. So that's the way down, uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. So the mine, where is it? There it is, the minecart elevator. So it's just a bunch of minecarts held up by ladders. So the problem I was having with it before was that every time I fell out of the very top minecart, I'd fall down through a few minecarts. And, oh, hello kitty. And, uh, oh, get off the desk. Okay, so the cat wants to talk into the mic now. No, don't, don't bite it. Don't, no! <sighs> okay, so, what was I saying? Okay, so the minecart sits on top of the ladder. That goes all the way up. Uh, this block here, I, before I didn't have that there, because I had the torch back there, and I had an extra space in case I had to get in there and fix it. If I knocked a cart off, turns out that was what was causing the problem. Oh, go away, cat. Um, so, that's all fixed. Now I'll go up to the top here. And, no, no, kitty. Jump out. I'm not sure if that's even really needed there. Hey, no, no, not that cord. Get your tail off the keyboard. And then to get down. Just jump. No idea how that actually saves you. It must reset the fall distance. But that's just one layer of water, as I think I already explained. Oh yeah, and I get the odd squid thing falling down. Um. So I did a quick sketch. Not sketch. I quickly planned out how I was going to make this little roof thing work out in creative mode. So let's see if I can recreate it here by memory or if I have to go check again. So I think it was here. One, two. Looks right. Let's go one lower. Doesn't really matter what height it is, still works the same. Actually, you know what? That was the same height. Looks about right. Uh, I'm gonna go make some half slabs and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the half slabs. And I put up a first line of them. So it overhangs by one on each end. That's gonna hang over by one on the front too. And that's gonna gradually go up as it goes farther, farther back until it gets to that wall. Oops. So, 
need to get some upside down half slabs placed. Yeah, these dirt things are just steps. Place that there. Oh, one of those fish squid thingers fell. I already have enough of those ink sacks, and I haven't even. I've never used any dye. Not yet, at least. I have, don't have any animal f or food farms. With the exception of that mob system, which gives me all kinds of useless zombie flesh. So, time for the next layer, which is also upside down half slabs. So, I'm going to need to place some dirt down for that too. So, I'm probably just going to do a bit of a, not really a montage, but I'm going to show you just parts of what I'm doing. Because it's all going to be, be, be pretty repetitive. No need for this video to be any longer than it has to. Okay, so here's where things are going to start to get a little interesting. Uh, when I did this in creative mode, I just turned off the water that was falling down. However, that'd be a little more difficult than this. So, when I place blocks here, it's going to do that. That's going to wipe out my torches, isn't it? Just one, I think. Oops. Three. Does it make it through here? No. Perfect. So I lost a few torches. That's about it. And sorry if that wasn't much of a <laughs> montage. Didn't think it would be. And there was a few more torches. Okay, so I have to go underneath now. Put down some upside down slabs. Which I think I'm going to have to make a few more. Already had to once. Ah, that lighting glitch. Oh well. Oh. That might be enough. Ah. Drowning. Okay. Get rid of these. go up top and get some fences in a few minutes. I won't take I won't bring you along for that one. Most likely ah oh, most likely. Oh, missed again. this because I don't need it. Then I'll go get some ladders. Or not ladders, fences. And adjust how I want the water to flow around up there. And then I'll be back. Well look who I found. Haven't even got up to get the ladders yet. Oh not ladders. I keep saying ladders. Fences.
a little bit of free experience and some slime balls which always come in handy so yeah fence time but oh, wow that's a lot of water <laughs> jump 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 fall ah. oh. oh yep time to place the ladders but um this could be interesting try not to get washed off of this I know I can hold shift but still Come on. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. There we go. Break, break, break. Chopping stuff from water sucks. Place, place. So the one I made in creative mode. It must have had upside down slabs here instead of the right side up ones. Because I only had to make these fences one high, but they'd hover like that above the block. And I'm about to drown. There we go. I might have to cut that water source off. That's a huge job. I don't wanna. Oh no. I'm gonna try to think of a simpler solution. So, here I am, way up here. I tried which I left some dirt blocks behind. I tried to block off just part of the area above it, above that platform, which you can't really see too well from up here, but it is there. I tried to just block off some, but the water still got under there. I don't know how that makes sense, but it apparently does. So I need to block off the whole thing, I guess. I'll start with half and see how that goes. I really am expecting that I'm going to fall to my death at some point here. Or, unless I hit the water. Deep enough water. So yeah, I'll probably keep recording for this. But, I doubt I'll use the footage unless I fall or do a backflip or something. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, look who we have here. Mr. Zombie. Ow. Oh, they're going to find their way over here, too. You know what? I don't think this is this is gonna work because once I take these blocks back out, it's now instead of the one block wide water stream, it's now two. Ah, oh, it changes everything. It's gonna wreck all my torches, probably. Maybe not. I'm still gonna have to cut the water source off up there. Damn. Okay. Here's a fun fact. Took me 
69 blocks to go around. So the mine is once again dry. For the last time, I hope. Have some more dirt to clear out down there. Put the ladder. Uh, he called them ladders. Put the fences in place and then release the water. I'll just release part of it at a time to make sure it works. And then from there, that should be good to go. Ah. Okay, so all the dirt is gone. Hope I never never have to do that again. Just what's blocking the edge just to remove. I noticed I missed a couple blocks here, so that means I'm completely out of half slabs. Of course, I can always make more, but shouldn't need to. So both sides come out an even amount. All the edges look like they're done. So let's try this. Not ladder, but fence thing again. Go up top and take a look at it. Oh, hello, zombie. Stay over there. Does he see me? make a uh, XP farm in here. I think the highest level I've enchanted with is probably 10 or 11. I always die before I get any higher. Most of my stuff is level 1. This sword was 10 or 11. Each of these pickaxes are just 1 or 2. So, let's try this out. Fingers crossed. Oh, I didn't put any holes in the ground for that water to fall into. So it's going to spread out everywhere. Yep. So let's block that off. Go on down. Dig here and here. Back up. And try again. So now the water shouldn't spread out everywhere. Might still have to adjust it when I remove blocks such as these. Let's get a better view. dig a few more holes. I'm going to do that off camera. I'll have to cover that up and then unblock it again in a minute. So I'll fix that and I'll be back. So I'll have to do something. F maybe I will, maybe I won't. Do something to make that a little more visually appealing later on. Doesn't look too bad, does it? I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, these are dug. So that shouldn't be a problem anymore. Let's fill in this. That should be 
good. This way I can at least just run in. Um, I'm not going to put too many torches down yet because I'll probably still wreck them again. Or I might. Okay, last try. Oh no. I messed that up a bit down there. I misaligned the grooves. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard to fix. Back down again. Now that really, really should be fixed this time. So. Please make this last try. Please make this work. Please, please, please. Haven't fell yet, surprisingly. That looks right. Cool. So, I'll finish clearing this out. In the meantime, as I'm doing this, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's watched. It's not a whole lot of people yet. I think I, on all my videos I still have less than 100 views. But, got my first subscriber today. First couple comments from him too. Uh, from his comments, seems to be liking a lot of what I've built. So, thank you to you, my first subscriber. You know who you are. May there be many more. So I'll finish cutting all these out. Oh, boring, tedious. Well, boring, tedious. Unless I die, then cut out the boring part. But still tedious. Wasted a lot of time today with my stupid mistakes. Ah. Okay, so let's go down and take a look at how that looks. And, uh. Ah. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I'm happy with it. I'll have to do a little bit more decorating. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll do that. Probably make this so it doesn't look so plain. I'll have to light up the area a bit. I'll do that off camera. Just lay down a few torches. I don't know if I'll be doing any more videos about the mine down here. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like after if I do change anything, but who knows. So yeah, I'm probably just going to simply dig a 1x2 hole under the wall. And do that every couple blocks over. 100 blocks that way or something to start. Uh, I'm not ready to dig that cavern out yet. It'll probably be about halfway up. I don't know, being huge. What else? Oh, my tower going from the bottom of it up to kind of that second floor I have. I'd show you if I was there. Actually, let's go there. I'll meet you there. So my, my plan is... <laughs> few mobs. Anyway, my plan is to create an elevator going from this room. Piston elevator. 
rather than the minecart one. It's kind of inconvenient, but it is fast and relatively cheap to make, minus the iron bars. Uh, I'd like to make it go up to this room. Also have one going up to the next floor. I don't have much up there except for a little doorway, which I should put a little door there with some pressure plates on the other side just to keep mobs out. Um, don't really have anything planned for here. I'm not sure if I'll change those stairs around. I'll probably leave them there even after I put the piston elevator in, which will probably go here. Also, I'd like to put a piston door somewhere between here and chest room. We'll see where that goes. I'll show you how it works if I do that. Still have a big glass building to put here. That'll be a big job too. It'll involve hauling up most of the mountain, building half the mountain up again. Kind of want to do the interior with some kind of material from the nether. At least to use some of it in its design for the interior. Exterior probably just be stone or dirt. I don't know about wood. That's kind of pain to collect. I was planting trees around here earlier. So I still want sapling. Must not grow there. So yeah. That's about all the plans I have for now. Should do something up there. Oh, I do have that big floating tower I want to put up there. We'll see. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Please comment. Any comments are, of course, much appreciated, as always. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.